So major groups have come together and they are writing letters now to the European Union to ask them to put this deal through essentially saying that they believe this is going to be better for the labor market within the video game industry. If you remember, it was a couple of months ago, the CWA, the Communication Workers of America, struck a deal with Microsoft saying that they would not interfere if workers from ABK wanted to create unions and then once the deal went through they would interfere and break up those unions they would honor them as well as they would allow workers when they are a part of microsoft to organize and discuss unions and feel free to do that and vote and do all of that type of stuff that wasn't being allowed at activision blizzard so for these groups and for the workers this would have been a good deal for them this is a better deal for them for a better working condition and right now as we know the deal is up in the air we don't know if it's going to pass we know that there has been pushback with provisional findings with the ftc suing microsoft all of that type of stuff so that is going to be continuing down in the next couple of weeks to see what happens but now there are letters that are being sent out by global union or uni or uni global union and the cwa they are writing these letters to the eu so we'll start here with uni global union and what they are saying so there's a lot here but i'll just go on to the key points of the stuff that they do mention it says uni global union is calling on regulators to consider the impact the tie up would have on the labor market as well as consumers in the pending merger between Microsoft and Activision Blizzard. They say here, we know that the commission is focusing on the effect the deal will have on consumers, but it cannot ignore the role this deal would have in making the video game labor market fairer for workers. This is an industry where workers are crushed by excessive hours and low pay while facing sexual harassment and discrimination. It is an industry that needs an expansion of workers protections and microsoft's commitment to labor rights will help make that happen now specifically like i mentioned they're focusing here on the commitment that they made to the cwa because they signed a neutrality agreement which covers all of the abk's employees when they are if they are going to be a part of microsoft and specifically it says microsoft has signed a neutrality agreement that would cover abk's thousands of employees with the us-based uni affiliate the communications workers of america the agreement is the only one of its kind in the tech and video game industries and commits microsoft to voluntarily recognize unions at the merged company and respect freedom of the association free from harassment and intimidation so that that's huge it is the only one right now that is in the video game industry and we've seen the unions at the at abk be crushed but after all of the stuff came out about the the workplace the harassment all that type of stuff we saw raven finally be able to create a union i think there was another part of abk that was that had created a union and they're going to go over to microsoft if the deal goes through and they're going to be recognized within microsoft so they're not going to try and break those up and they're going to allow the employees or other employees from different parts of the of abk and assuming different parts of xbox game studios to organize if they want to enter into a union and i mean that neutrality agreement is huge again because it is the only one and there aren't any other big companies that have currently signed something like that specifically we have hoffman who i believe is the general secretary of uni global union saying here collective bargaining is a way to remedy possible negative consequences of a merger on the labor market and it is also necessary to fix problems that are existing within the industry we know that the union difference is a more democratic workplace higher pay and greater equality so there you have it i'm sure there are a lot of employees at abk in the current working environment current conditions that want to form unions because of all of the stuff that has gone on there that has come out we know with microsoft i'm sure there is bad working conditions at times in different departments stuff like that i mean that happens in pretty much every big corporation but we have also seen via glassdoor and and rewards and nominations and former workers and workers that work there currently saying that microsoft is one of the best companies to work for right now so i'm sure the employees at abk are just hoping and praying that this deal does happen so that they can go over and work for the microsoft corporation where things will most likely be better for them overall now they go over some other stuff here they talk about how in many countries like the us forming a union without a commitment of neutrality neutrality is nearly impossible and that's why that thing that microsoft signed is such a big deal for these these companies or these or these 
unions or these organizations because the neutrality thing is not anywhere else in the industry and now they're they can hold microsoft to that if they decide to go in and try to break up unions that are currently with an abk or stop people from trying to organize it goes on and says there are strong anti-union campaigns at companies like abk where workers are forced to attend meetings in which management spread anti-union propaganda and it continues on there and then they talk about Zenimax Studios and the Bethesda acquisition. In contrast, quality assurance testers at Microsoft subsidiary subsidiary Zenimax Studios have organized a union this year. So that was the other one, I believe that was that I was thinking about above. Zenimax Studios, QA workers also formed that union, which is a prime example that at Microsoft, they aren't trying to stop this. They are saying, go ahead, you can do it. We're not going to try to bust it up. And we're going to respect the unions that you form, as obviously Zenimax Studios is a part of. Microsoft Game Studios as part of Xbox, and they were able to do it. The union was recognized in accordance with the labor neutrality agreement. There are almost no other organized gaming workers in the United States. Uni has consistently stood against monopolies and the consolidation of corporate power at working people's expense. But in this instance, we have weighed the larger social impacts on workers in the labor market, and we are asking the commission to do the same. So they're essentially saying to the EU, Put this deal through for the workers this is going to be better for the workers and by blocking this deal you're going out and you're knowingly hurting the people who are working at these companies so that may be big we'll see what the eu looks how they look at this and what that means for the likelihood that this deal is going to be passed by the eu but i think that is a pretty big thing right there and then we have the cwa the communications worker of america but this is something i already knew from them that they were wanting this deal to go through but again they've written another letter because the cwa was that initial organization that microsoft signed that neutrality agreement with so this is the one that kicked all this off and then uni jumping in on it so they wrote a letter to vestiger who is or margreth i don't know i'm not sure how to say her name margreth vestiger the executive vice president of the european commission and they go over pretty much the same stuff that uni did but here are their tweets where they kind of sum it up they say when the acquisition was announced we studied the implications for labor markets and raised concerns about the potential for increased employer power over workers that could worsen labor monopsony leading to lower wages and less bargaining power over working conditions after we raised those concerns we were able to enter a dialogue with microsoft that resulted in an agreement to ensure the workers of activision blizzard have a clear path to collective bargaining if the merger is completed microsoft's binding commitments will give employees a seat at the table and ensure that the acquisition of Activision Blizzard benefits the company's workers and the broader video game market. Collective bargaining is an effective counterbalance to employer power over the labor market, as is well documented in empirical research. So there you have our two major organizations writing letters to the EU, and we'll see how this affects their decision going forward. We're still waiting on the EU's decision. CMA is up. We got the provisional findings, and then we should be getting, I guess, in the next couple of weeks, week or so, the the response from Microsoft, and then we'll see what that makes happen if they look at that response and change their mind, come back with a different answer. But I be believe that they will have until the end of April to actually come up with their final decision, and the EU has until the end of April to come up with their final decision. And then the FTC have essentially they could go all the way to august if they decide to bring this to court and microsoft will have to fight it but people are speculating that if the eu and the cma do push this deal through in advance the ftc will not go all the way to court they will come to a, an agreement so that the deal does pass we'll wait and see what happens going forward lots of stuff developing here it's a very interesting time within this deal it was kind of boring for a bit but the last couple of weeks have been extremely interesting with the cma coming out with their provisional findings but i'll leave that there guys thank you guys for watching if you're new here hit that subscribe button help this channel grow was a 10k subscriber so it'd be great to hit that and thank you guys for watching again and i'll catch you guys in the next video